Tennessee. Um, it's Sunday the 5th, and it is about 12 o'clock. Um, I just, uh, we ate, I ate lunch with Sarah and the kids, um, and uh, spent as much time with them as, as we could this morning, and um, just, uh, just want to be together as a family for a little bit. So the plan is, I'll be driving, um, setting up as soon as I get there. Um, my mom and dad decided to go spend the day at Pigeon Forge, so they're going to be close by. They're going to come and help me set up, which I am grateful for. Um, especially, I mean, it's they're calling for scattered thunderstorms today. I, I really don't want to. wasn't looking forward to putting up all the equipment by myself up in the rain, so. Hopefully the rain will hold off and uh, we'll be all right. Um, but I just told Sarah and the kids goodbye. Um, I'll be staying through the week. And the plan is on Friday, well, Thursday night, I'll probably take down as much of my camping stuff as possible um, and pack it away in the car. Friday morning I'll wake up a little earlier and uh, take down my tent and everything and then go on to work and as soon as I get off work that day um, I'll be driving back here to Black Mountain, North Carolina um, and uh, spending the weekend with Sarah and the kids and then it'll we'll do a redo over again I guess Friday or Sunday after church and after lunch, I'll drive back out here again and do the same thing. Um, but I'm, I'm hoping, even though I still have to work, that in the evenings I can just kind of sit by the fire, do some cooking on the fire. Hopefully I got my dad's uh, little grill also, but if I can, I got, I got my cast iron uh, pan, uh, throw it over the fire, maybe fry up some treat meat or something. campsite here and uh, my parents helped me set everything up um, pretty nice little areas it's a little campground but it, the tent area is secluded from the rest of it and I am the only one back here so that's even better um, I just got a fire going you probably hear it popping in the background um, it absolutely poured the rain um, and uh, I went and showed my parents the new house that we're going to be closing on and and uh, by the time we got back it stopped raining the sun come out now it's just kind of overcast there's a little little bit of blue sky um, it's not too hot right now but it's a little humid but um, yeah I got the fire going I got one of my lanterns lit um, Kind of show you around a little bit. Here's the little fire area, and um, I guess where other people's camped here, they they left some more wood here. Um, I guess some of them just off and left and didn't bother to take it. Um, I don't really have to worry too much about wood because uh, when me and Sarah do so much woodworking and everything, we have plenty of scraps left over, and it's not chemically treated; it's just heat treated. Um, so. I got plenty of that to burn. Here's my little tent area. I got the canopy I borrowed from my dad to uh, give a little bit more protection in case it rains again. Got it up under a tree here. And uh, it's good to go. Got everything set up. Got the picnic table here. Um, yeah, I'm good to go. 
it's uh it's about 5:30 now. I'm just gonna kind of chill, hang out a little bit, um, get things uh just kind of enjoy myself some. So wanted to give a, a few shout outs here. Um, just wanted to give a shout out to my wife and kids. Um, my missions, wishings were here. Um, it's gonna take some use to getting used to the quiet. Um, also wanted to give a shout out to uh, Boss of the Swamp. Um, I want to uh, say thank you for all the the videos. They're great. Keep them coming. Um, they've actually I've learned a lot watching them, um, especially with the cast iron videos. Appreciate it. Thank you. Um, I also want to give a shout out to Joe's Neon. Um, I started watching your channel because uh, you were on a uh, JC from Boss of the Swamp had mentioned you, and uh, I've been enjoying watching yours. I've also learned quite a bit from yours, and um, I figured tonight I'd try the. I was watching one of your videos yesterday, and I figured I'd try the feathering. Uh, method on the wood to get a fire going and I don't know why I have never thought about that it actually works really good as a fire starter um, but yeah I know both y'all like your beer and everything um, I know uh, Joe I know you like your PBRs and uh, boss man I know you like your I think it's moose rule I think what you said and uh, well, I got to admit, I, I don't drink alcohol. I don't drink beer or nothing. But I am, however, a Coke addict. Yep, I love Coca Cola. So, what I got here is not a Coca Cola. I got a strict budget, so I'm going with the Sam's Club Cola. But, uh, yep, I'm going to open that and I'll drink to you guys. Appreciate it. It's good stuff. Hey y'all. It's um, a little after four o'clock. Um, just got off work. Um, the new job went actually very well. Um, I think it's gonna be a pretty nice place to work at. Um, but I'm back here now at the campsite. Figured I'd take it easy for a little bit. Um, get a fire going. Uh, I picked me up something to eat on the way back. Um, so I'm just going to sit by the fire and enjoy some supper here. And uh, before I go, I wanted to show you a couple things. Um, you may have heard me uh, earlier about um, using the feathering method on uh, the kindling um, to get a fire going. And. Um, I just wanted to show you what I was talking about. Uh, but let's see. Hang on just this is what I was talking about. Just take um, your kindling. I took, and like I said earlier, we had <clears throat> I have a lot of scrap wood where me and Sarah do little woodworking projects. And um, I took and I split it a little smaller. But the feather and all you do, you just take your sharp knife and um, do what it says. You just run across the edges, kind of feather out the edges. Um, it gives it more surface area for the flames to catch on to and these things will work perfect for starting a fire as long as it's a good dry piece of wood um, I did used it uh, last night and um, started one no problem um, so they're perfect fire starters just make sure you have a sharp knife um, somewhere along the line my pocket knife got lost on the way over here which sucks because I really like my pocket knife but um my dad he had that he's had this thing ever since I can remember since I was little and um he uh, he's letting me use it I didn't know he brought it with him but um let's try and get a fire going with these things